All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. December to remember time, baby. But first, before we get started, let me say what's up to all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. December to remember, we doing two things this month. We trying to put on smaller YouTubers. That's number one. And number two, and this is more important, we are trying to put up 60 videos this month. We are trying to put up two or two videos every day. And uh, we trying to get in that gym too. We giving out maximum effort. If you like this shirt, the shirt is in the store. Link is down in the description under uh, merch. I do all my own merch. Me and Bridget, we are uh, breezy. We do all of it ourselves and we love it, man. But look at the guns on this thing. That ain't what we here to talk about today though, man. What we here to talk about today, Cal, give me another screen. We're here to talk about the best defensive badges or the best defensive badge set up in the game. If you are a perimeter lock, I think I cracked the code. This is it. And let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you, then I'm going to show you. All right, check it out. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that they allow me to do. All right, look, chase down artists on bronze. You only need it on bronze. You only need, you only need rim protector on bronze because you're not gonna be down there that much. And if you're down there with these badges, it will allow you to play defense in a way where it's going to let you play defense in a way where, where if they're going to the rim, you can swat shots or make them miss or, you know what I'm saying, do all types of stuff like that. And uh, it unlocks those animations. It unlocks blocks, block animations. And uh, it says rim protect to give you a boost. You know, we, you know, approve your ability to block shots and give you a boost. Then you got uh, then you got chase down artists raise the chances of a chase down block. We got that clamps. You can put this on gold. You can put it on Hall of Fame. I personally look like a home Hall of Fame. Intimidate a Hall of Fame. You close to somebody, they are gonna miss the shot. That's that is this just that's that's it. Boost your defensive rating when tightly guarding somebody. If you can get back, they're gonna miss the shot nine times out of ten. You gotta have pick dodger on platinum uh, on Hall of Fame, man. Tireless defender. I want to put it on Hall of Fame, but I can't pull them from, from one of these and lightning reflexes on goal. Try lightning reflexes on Hall of Fame. It really doesn't work. I'm going to explain to you these badges while we're going through, through uh, you know, I'm, I'm explaining to you the badges and why I do what I do while we're going through this game. All right, that, that, guy, that game right there we just finished. Let me show y'all, first of all, that we ain't playing no chumps. Look at that. 98. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. These ain't no chumps. 98 overall offensive threat. Sharp shooting facilitator 97 in the 99 center. Look, 11 points a game and 7 points a game. These guys ain't no pushover. Look at what I'm playing with. 95, 95, I'm the only 99 not here. 3 and D point guard. I don't score no points. But I do play defense. These badges will allow you to play defense in a way. We, we, I'm, I'm going to try to go ahead and get it started. These badges are going to let you play defense in a way where not only you don't get tired or the person in front of you will get tired before you, but also you won't be hitting screens. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going through the screen, slide right through. He took the shot. Okay, fine. He hit that shot. But if you're a defender, you have to know one thing. You got to learn what the player that you're playing against wants to do first. Once you learn this move, I got his move downloaded. It's just like Floyd Mayweather after that. Once I get him downloaded, we we, we we start playing, and now I know which side he wants to go to. Really, what I want to do every time is push him to my center. I want to, I want to, look, see, you see, you see, I cut that move off this time. Now, all I want him to do, look, every time I'm pushing him to the center. That's what I want to do. Because it's not your responsibility to stop everything on the play. You just don't want him to shoot threes. Get over here! Hit him with that scorpion. Get over here! Hey, look, that's one of the best things. Space Creator, one of the best badges in the game if you ain't got that many playmaking badges. Look at that right there. Hey, he tried to set a bad screen. Look, this is what I want to do every time. I will take this 100 times out of 100 because he's going straight to my center. His only option here is to, is to pause right there and my center's going to pick him up. I'm going to chase him to my center or he can probably left stick dribble out of this to the right. But look what he does. Look. I know, look, he's moving with the screen. He's trying to hunt me with the screen. I'm not even going to let him get to me. I'm just going to run straight to him. Boom. Get an illegal screen. This is what quick reflexes will do for you. 
when you do button input, all that lag is gone. Whatever you press, right, that's what your guy's going to do. He's not going to, like, because it, it feels like you delayed a lot of the times, right, when you're trying to catch people or whatever. Look, if you got on lightning reflex, look, look at me get through that screen because I wanted to. Right here, I'm completely fine with that because he's taking the shot in my center's face. It's going to let you stick to the person as well as avoid screens because trades up, break down. It's going to let you stick to the person and it's also going to let you avoid screens. That's the main thing. The way it's going to let you avoid screens is when you put the button input in to avoid the screen. So if you press it down, look at that. that look at, that's what I get when I try to steal the, when I try to steal balls. Uh, uh, steal the uh, passes and stuff. I get the super lunge. I don't ever get the just stand in place deal like everybody else gets. I get the super lunge. That's why I get so mad because my guy does that, everybody else does. But anyway, we right back in it. Look, standing here, pushing him straight to the defense. That's what you want to do. But you see, you notice, oh, get, look at that. He thought he was going to get a shot off. Uh uh. Look, you, you, it also lets you get your hand up quicker. So you're going to dodge screens better. It pretty much makes all of your badges more effective. You're going to dodge screens fat better. You're going to stick to the guy better. If you don't fight the input, then you're going to you're gonna chase your guy better. Look at this. Same thing right here. Look. Push him straight to the center. Hey, he, he trying to throw a desperation alley. It ain't happening. Now, I'm not telling you this is going to work 100% of the time on everybody because I have had some people that iso me. And, uh, hey, some people know how to break your ankle with that behind the back every single time. Bro, your uh, trades up. Green Bay money team. Splash down. If they know how to do that, you're pretty much done for, my guy. It ain't a whole lot you're going to be able to do, do to that. But y'all see it's 15-2 to with these defensive badges. This guy's average is 11 points a game, my guy. This guy ain't no pushover. And look at this. Me going back and forth. That decks and stuff, it really just not going to work. Because you're going to be able to... All right, so the way that you have to use quick reflexes is this. You have to have some confidence. You think we care about that? Rack! I'm taking it straight to the rack, boy. A lambs to a line, baby. You, you don't want to play the game? You want to play like that? Hey, it is what it is. I didn't tell you to get behind by that much. But what quick reflexes will do for you, not y'all say, now the 2K about to start giving us the shaft, y'all will see a lot more defense. What it's going to do for you is this. Look, the first movement that your guy makes, look at he can't he can't hit that, but they're going to give it to him. Bruh, really? A white with me right there? Okay, it is what it is. The one thing that quick reflexes is going to, I mean, uh, lightning reflex is going to do for you. The game will anticipate some moves for you. Some of the some of the the, the offensive player, they're going to anticipate some of those movement for you. What you have to do is not fight against it so much. It'll either guess the very first uh, step that the guy wants to take, or it's going to it's going to guess the second one. What you have to do is kind of just let the game make the first step for you. Stop fighting against it so much. 2K has been like this forever, where on defense, 99% of the time, your guy will make the first step. Step. Uh, he's going to make the first defensive movement for you, and then you make the rest of them after that. Okay, especially when, you, when you've already cut the guy off and stuff like that. Look at him trying to go down there. Look at this. Ah, ah. Look at him get back, cutting it off. Right here in his face. You think you're going to fake pass that to me? Bro, stop playing. It's going to make the first movement for you. So when it makes that first movement, let that happen, and then you take everything else after that. Look, look, a lot of times, look, you see I'm just standing there? I'm standing there, I get through. I'm back through. Look at that. Look at the, look at, look at that. I stand here. He hits me with a screen, but look at the, look at, because I got lightning reflexes, look at how good of a contest I'm able to get. I don't know what they're going to call it, but... Look at that, yeah. 6% covered slightly late. But the pro the thing is, it say 6%, bro. The ball ain't out of his hand. I'm here. I'm here. The ball ain't really out of his hand. But look, just the fact that I got that, that lightning reflexes let me make the next movement damn near instantly. Once I got hit by the screen and I got out of the animation, I broke out of that animation so quickly that I was able to get a shot. Now, maybe you just like, hey, maybe that dude just trashed and maybe he just missed a shot and maybe he just got intimidated and all this stuff. It is what it is. Give me that steal. Look at that. This is a beautiful thing right here. This is how passing lane steals should be. Do you see this? I am between my guy and the ball. I am pressing left trigger. I square it up. Look at this. I'm now denying it. Now I press it. This is how a passing lane still should look, Mike Wong. Not that other stuff. This is how it should look. 
I'm already in the lane. I anticipate it. I see the pass. I am squared up. Give me the basketball. We're going the other way. That's how passing lane still should be. Not where the ball just magically gravitates to people. But anyway, look at this. Look at this right here. Chase down. Yeah, ain't none of that, baby. That's that chase down artist, rim protector, and intimidator all together. Give me the basketball. Let's see what I can do with it. But like I said, bro, when you're playing with this, if you use lightning reflexes and you feel like it's not that good of a badge, it's probably trades up, green bean money team, splash down. If you feel like it's not that good of a badge, I guarantee it's because you're fighting against it. Try to not fight against the game so much. And another thing, another thing on defense. Should I just put out a whole defensive tips video, man? Because I can't put out all of these. I just wanted y'all to show. I have to give y'all a foundation first and show y'all the best. I, of course, I, I was reaching right then because I got my badge on. But I, I have to give y'all the good defensive foundation for it first. Try using these badges and see what they will do for you. I think that they're very good. Look at that. We got a shot clock violation out of that. I, don't, I didn't even see the whole possession, but look at this. Look at this. Look at, look, at, look at it. You can't do nothing. I'm here. Denying, 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 denying. Shot clock violation, bro. You can't do nothing. I was going to run to him anyway. But that's what lightning reflexes really does. It, it, it helps you make your first move or know where it's going. Don't look at the thing where it shows you, you know, where they're going to go, all that stuff. Don't, don't believe in that stuff. Let the game make the first movement for you. Lay. Let the game make the first movement for you or the second movement. You kind of have to figure out which movement. And look, look, I, I five for six. Three and D point, man. I'm not even really a point guard. I'm just out here playing, man. I'm just out here playing around. But them guys was was 99s and all this stuff. I didn't even see what they like, what a superstar warns two or three. Bro, I don't even pay attention to that stuff. I just knew they was 99s. But let's look and see. And maybe they're. Yeah, uh, what is it, Superstar 3 or uh, whatever 3? All right, so, I mean, they ain't bad. They ain't, they ain't super trash. But look, back to the badges. Lightning Reflexes helps you figure out where you're going. It helps you chase your guy through screens. And uh, actually, if he, if he engages you off of that screen and you press the, the reach button, it normally will suck you into him, and then he can't go anywhere. Just try it out. Try this badge combination out and see what it does for you. I just wanted to show you a game against some very competent opponents, what this does. This is one of the best bad, I've tried everything. I tried everything, I tried off ball pests. I tried clamps uh, on different variations. Tried defensive leader. I tried all the stuff that actually is, is supposed to work. These are the badges that work the best to me that aren't counterfeit. Pickpocket and interceptor, you don't need them. I don't reach when I play the game. And the reason I don't reach it because they're not going to give me the steal anyway, so it ain't no point in me reaching, right? Like, they, they just, they're just they just not going to give it to me. But it is what it is. Like I said, try this out. And when you're using lightning reflexes, try letting your guy make the first or the second move. So let's say if I'm already in the spot and he runs at you, you let him make that very first movement, and then you then you make the second movement. If he's if he's not in already in position, you make the first move, and then when the guy starts making the second move, then you'll you'll learn that you're about to when you're about to transition animations, when you're about to come out of one animation, go into the next, and you can do that. Anyway, I don't want the video to be too long, man. But I just wanted to show y'all how it how it works. But just try not to fight the game so hard when you're using lightning reflexes. So once he engages, try to come off the stick. You know he engages for three steps, and then after that third step, that's when you want to back off a little bit, and he's probably going to come into you again. You just got to learn how to use lightning reflexes, but it's a very good badge. Probably one of the best, the most OP badges in the game, and this is one of the most OP badge setups in the game. I might end up doing something like this, but I just don't know because I like Clemps on, go on Hall of Fame. I like Intimidate on Hall of Fame. I like all three of these on Hall of Fame, man. So I don't even know what I'm going to take down. Maybe I can take this down one and do off ball piss, but I just love this badge on go. If you're going to try it, at least put it on go and then let me know. Come back to the video. Let me know what you think, man. But anyway, and plus, let me show y'all something, man. I mean, I ain't the best player in the world, but this is this is what I do, man. Let me, if the game freeze, I just want to show y'all, if this is your first time to the video, like the video, share the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And if you know any small YouTubers that need some recognition, let me know. I'm going to try to get them. I'm going to try to give people recognition every day, man. But um, 
what I want to show y'all is this. This is my little, my little weak ass park record and all this stuff, bro. Okay, so look, this is me in the park. 77% win percentage playing with randoms damn near all the time. 60% uh, from three, 60% from the field. Like that, that's what I am, man. In the wreck, it's probably better 54%. I don't even, I ain't played that many wreck games. I played 65 wreck games. But y'all see, I played 455 games on here and I haven't really. Anyway, y'all know what time it is, man. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Godspeed!